In this video, we'll look at a box plot using an example and we'll identify these five numbers that are marked with the edges or the vertical lines that make up your box plot. These five numbers are called the five number summary, which includes your minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. In this example, we see no outliers represented. This doesn't mean that there were no outliers in the data set. We would have to see those numbers to be sure. But this version of a box plot does not show outliers. To identify outliers, we use the interquartile range, or the IQR, which is the difference between the two interquartiles, or the range between the two interquartiles, Q3 minus Q1. We multiply this by one and a half. Now what this does is it gives us a distance that equals the width of the inner box plus another half of that box. We use that distance to extend below the first quartile and above the third quartile to create a range of values that we will consider to be usual and any values outside of those will be considered outliers. The edges of that range are sometimes called fences. We have the low fence which is Q1 minus one and a half times the IQR and the high fence which is the third quartile plus one and a half times the IQR. Let's look at another example. Here's a larger data set with the five number summary. To calculate the interquartile range, subtract Q3 minus Q1, multiply that difference times one and a half to get 120.9. Now take that number and subtract it from the first quartile to get the low fence. So that would be 367.5 minus 120.9 equals 246.6. To get the high fence, take the one and a half times the interquartile range value 120.9 and now add it to the third quartile. So that would be 448.1 plus 120.9 equals 569. Now we're able to identify any outliers that exist in the original data set. Notice that we have several values that are lower than the low fence of 246.6. 267 is the lowest value in the data set that is not an outlier or you could think of it as the minimum usual value. The largest value in the data set is 512.6, which is below the high fence. Therefore, there are no outliers on the high end. This is what a regular or general, the most general form of a box plot would look like for this data set. This is usually called skeletal box plot or box and whisker plot. Notice that no outliers are shown here. We have the minimum at 214.4, the first quartile at 367.5, and so on. If we want to show the outliers, we can use a different version of a box plot called the modified box plot. Notice that the left whisker does not extend as far as it did before. Instead, it stops at the lowest value that is not an outlier, which was around 267. Then any outliers are shown with stars, 
or maybe dots or X's depending on the technology you're using. The rest of the box plot looks just like this side. It was only that left whisker that was shortened so that outliers could be identified. 